Previously, we learned about the link component for navigating between routes. Now, let's tackle something we haven't covered yet. Styling active links. You know how most websites highlight the current page you're on in the navigation menu? Well, we'll build exactly that. It is not just about aesthetics. It helps user understand where they are in your application and is very important. To save time and get us started, I have already prepared some code. In our auth route group, I've created a layout.tsx file with a navlinks array containing three items, register, login, and forgot password. Each has a name and a corresponding href property. The layout component maps over these links and renders them using Next.js's link component. If you head over to slash register in the browser, you will see all three links in the auth layout. You can click between them and they will stay visible throughout. Register, login, and forgot password. Now let's make them show which one is active. Next.js gives us the use path name hook to help us figure out which link is active. Let's bring that in. At the top, import use path name from next slash navigation and use it in the auth layout component. The const path name is equal to use path name. When we save the file, we encounter an error we've seen before. Remember how server components are default in Next.js? Well, hooks only work in client components, so we need to add the use client directive at the top of our file. Perfect. Now that is fixed, let's use the path name constant. It gives us the current URL path. So slash register for the register route, slash login for the login route, slash forgot password for the forgot password route, and so on. These match up with the href values in our navlinks array. So inside the map method, we can add const is active is equal to path name being equal to the links href or path name dot starts with link href and link dot href is not equal to the root route. Next, it's time to add some styles. On the link component, let's add a class name with a conditional. So if is active is true, we specify font bold and margin right four. If it is not active, we specify text blue 500 and margin right four. These are Tailwind CSS classes. Font bold makes the text bold, and text blue 500 gives us a nice blue color. MR4 adds some breathing room on the right. If you check the browser's elements panel, you will see the active link has the font bold class, while the other links have text blue 500. We are currently viewing slash forgot password, so forgot password is our active route. But wait, the styles don't seem to be visible in the browser. This is because we removed the global CSS file earlier. No worries, let's create a styles.css file in the auth folder and add Tailwind CSS, base, components, and utilities. In the layout.tsx file, import the styles.css file. Or if you prefer, you can also bring back the global CSS file from earlier. Either way works. Now head back to the browser. And you can see the current route forgot password is bold and the other links are blue. Click login and the styling changes. That is all it takes to style active links in Next.js. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.